Whoa! Dicks. Welcome to what will be predominantly the first video back in the garage. I do, however, still need to go to the unit at some point today. I can't do anything though until half past nine. I've got a chap coming from Marketplace to pick up that Lego bundle. A Lego bundle. I say that like you know about it. There's just a few bags of Lego. So I've got an hour until he arrives. So what I want to do is start unboxing some of these bags and start getting it onto the shelves ready to be picked off and listed. The other thing is I also have somebody from Marketplace coming to look at one thing who then wants to look at another thing, but they can't get here until 12.30. So I'm going to work here till 9.30, shoot off to the unit, grab a few bits, come back and meet that lady for them other bits. But I might as well crack on and get some of these shelves done first. It's going to be organised chaos to begin with. You just have to trust that I know what I'm doing. I don't have my tripod stand. It'll be here today at some point. So messing around with the angles is just going to be a trial and error. So I guess if we just pick a bag, any bag, and start emptying it. We've got a right mix of shit in here. A lot of it's from before the consignment, which just never got dealt with. Because obviously I took on their contract, took on their jobs and prioritised them. Now it's time to prioritise my stuff again, like fully. Doesn't sound too good, does it? Computers, radios, Alexas. Shush. I'm already not liking the angle on this thing, but the tripod will be here today. I've also had another brand deal reach out to me. Most of you know the company, the Munbin, label printer, thermal. You can airdrop it, Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. So that'll be pretty sweet. All right, let me get some of this stuff on the shelf because I can't concentrate while you lot are there eyeballing me. Okay, we are one bag down, stuff on the shelf. That's a great start, only took five minutes. I've just noticed one of my PlayStations is missing the front grill, but that's okay. That's okay. I guess we move on to the second bag. Two bags down. I am practically killing it. Two bags left to go. One, two. Once they're out and on the shelves, it's game time, mate. We start listing. We start moving stuff across. I'm feeling very, very positive about this, especially with the space. Long time viewers of the channel, God, that light makes me look so white and so grey. Let's get back over here a bit. <laughs> Long time viewers of the channel will notice that I've actually blocked up the window, blocked up, carded it over just to stop sun damage and actually ran shelves across it for the first time since I've been here. And I've never done that before. I've always had like a unit down here to work on and a big gap here because there's a fucking window and I want to preserve it. Blah, blah, blah. No. And I've actually made all the shelves level for once before there was all whatever mix mashed and moshed perfect size space there for a rail tools and things that i need goods in goods in some other like close to hand tools so over there will be like testing tapes and whatever else over here will be packing tape you get the gist so i think it's really going to work out well annoyingly i am going to have four of these shelves that i don't need that i've got in the unit so they can go in the loft plus i'm potentially going to have two more tables that i don't need so they'll go in the loft because i think i might just get on with just that Normally I have two out here, another one. I don't think I need it. If I do need it, it's only in the loft, isn't it? But it's nerve wracking, as in it's new, but it's exciting because it's home. So let me crack on with this third box. It looks mental, but you've just got to trust that I know what I'm, <laughs> I'm doing. I've just found a bag full of Havianas. So I'm going to get these cleaned up and listed, but I can actually just realize I can't. My cleaning stuff's at the office, Never mind. But they'll be up tonight loads of stuff last box to do last one and then i'll go the guy should be here soon for the lego and then i'll go to the office and when i get there i'll give everybody a nice lesson on how a lift works because this chap's completely wrong everybody wants to know how a lift works and that's why i do it for you absolute classic marketplace i've just seen a car pull up over there so i had a quick check to see if it was my guy for the lego i've checked into the marketplace conversation and uh he's gone there's left the group. Just tell me first, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Just say, I'm not coming down, mate. Change my mind. Luckily, I've checked. It's 28 minutes past nine. So I was going to be waiting here till half nine for him regardless. 
onto the last box. Just got to put those two things somewhere and then I can leave and go to the unit and crack on and get some postage done or bring some stuff back. What a plonker, eh? I'll take that back. I think he's outside. That's so weird because he's left the conversation. Hold on a minute. This could be changing. No, it's not changing. It was just an old bloke trying to work out where to pass. So it's obviously that bloke's gone. I don't want it for whatever reason. And he's got no balls. Right, let's go do some work. Them boxes are done. That's it, everything's on the shelves. Got some more stuff to bring over still. Lots of listed stock that needs to come over that'll go up here. So I'm gonna go get that done now. Just get cracking, really. Right, so those of you that don't know how a lift works, first you press the button, you have to wait for the doors to open. That's quite important. You bring yourself and whatever it is that you've got into the lift. And some of you will either have buttons or a keypad. I have both because the floor that I am on is restricted. So I have to enter my key code. And then what I have to do is wait for the lift to travel up and get to where it's gonna get to. And hold tight for this one, because eventually them doors, they're gonna open. We're waiting patiently. We're almost there. I can hear the creaking. Any second now, those doors are gonna fling open. Then you take yourself and everything else out. They are gonna close again. And that is how a lift works. God, isn't that nice to come into? There's my stand. So on first entry, I'm like, what the do I do? But I know that once I get going, I'll get into the flow, I'll get into the Zen flow. I am gonna pack one item though first, which is that, because that has to go, and then look to see if there's any small stuff. We've got a Red Bull at hand today. And also, heart attack waiting to happen, we have a coffee. I didn't even know Greg's do their own iced coffee. It's obviously a new thing. That geezer from Facebook Marketplace, what a pleb, hey? What a pleb head. Just say, don't want it anymore. Why have people got to be such pussies? I've got a stinking headache today. Don't know what's wrong with me. Well, obviously a headache. Roasting in here. So Cass actually commented under my video regarding those Thelwell prints and it was in fact her. So Cass, I really appreciate you, mate. Thank you so, so much. Hope you love them and I'm sure you will. Is that gonna be perfect size? I think it might be. It's a little too slim, but we can make that work. <sighs> eBay's being so slow today. It's loading like it's on Windows 95. Small font, no colors. Making me sign in again. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I wish they'd stop pissing about. <sighs> it hasn't loaded yet. They're definitely changing something in the back end again because that postage screen looks a bit different. Pissing around. Right, that's done. And I don't have to do any more postage until Monday now. I've only got a few things to go out, so they're gonna have to just wait. It's tough, simple, simple as that. So uh, <laughs> I suppose I better get sorting out, get some organizing going. Ideally, I'd like to get all of that home today. Ideally. Ideally. I'm saying ideally. Let's see. This video is going to be so boring. We're making progress. One bag filled. Going to get it on the trolley. Come back and do another. Fucking boring ass video. Right, so I've done it. I've emptied the shelves. Apart from this little box here, but that's fine. So my job now is to get these taken down. I'm just going to store them for a bit and get them ready to go. And then they're going to go home and in my loft. Actually, I'm not going to bore you with an effort like that because I'm not actually keeping H sections this time, so it's going to take me longer to bring down. So I'll come back when it's clear. Just cut myself open. We have an injury, guys and girls. You ready? If you're squeamish, look away. It's open. <sighs> oh, but we're almost done. Or no. It's a boring job, but it's got to be done. 
when I tell you this room is roasting, I'm not fucking joking. That is sweat. That is dirty, horrible sweat. Fucking hell. So I've got no idea how this video has turned out, but I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to get home. I'm going to get done. You've seen a couple of updates. You've seen a few more changes and a few more things happen. So it keeps you in the loop because I know some of you, believe it or not, are actually enjoying the journey. And I appreciate that. I'm glad to bring you along with me. It inspires me to keep on going. When you simplify it, I am just moving from one place to another. So it's crazy that everybody likes to watch it. But it's not, actually, because I find myself watching some weird and wonderful stuff as well. So each and every one of you, I appreciate the journey. I appreciate you sticking with me, and I appreciate you coming along. Thank you for spending your time watching this video, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Ta-ra. Ta-ra-ra. Oh, I've got... <laughs> uh, probably going to start here.